Good morning. You're watching Much Ado About Something, and I'm Donna. And today, we're going to take these old, tired doormats that I have and give them new life. As you can see, this thing is still pretty sturdy. There's a lot of good left in it, but it's just looking really tired and worn out. So this morning, we're gonna revive this and give it some new life. The supplies you need will be some paint, we just recently had our house painted, so we have plenty of paint left. I have some paint brushes here. I open her to open the paint. A tray with a roller, which you'll want for this job. A little bit of black paint that I had from a previous project that I saved. And then I just have some baby wipes that I use for cleanup, for touch up if I need that. You want to make sure that your uh, mat is free of debris, doesn't have any kind of uh, garbage on it, shake it off good or vacuum it. I just shook mine off really well. Steer your paint, make sure it's mixed up really well. Just have a little bit of paint in here for this small project. This is exterior paint, so its durability is going to be as good as it would if it was on the outside of your house. I'm using a small roller here. And you just want to paint right over your existing paint. Now I'm going to leave this word home on here. So I'm trying not to get it down into that crevice any more than I need to. And it looks like this is going to absorb quite a bit of paint. So I'm going to need more paint. Just cover the surface as well as you can. The mat's still good. It's just the paint that's worn off. And we can give this mat new life. By simply putting a fresh coat of paint on it. I 
would use as as durable as a paint as you could uh, could use. Something you have on hand is recommended since this is a, a small project. You wouldn't want to have to go buy a whole uh, quart or, or more of paint for this small project. You could just go buy a sample. I know Lowe's now sells samples, so uh, sample paint would be enough to do this project or any leftovers that you had, you can put them to use. Just get you a good coat on there. And let this dry thoroughly before you do the next step. Now I'm going to take this little bit of black paint and where I have the letters home, I'm just going to go down in there. You don't usually see any uh, wear and tear down in this indention because you know that's not where the surface where the foot traffic is. You hear the neighborhood noises this morning, the neighborhood dogs. Just go over your words. You pretty much have a blank slate here. So it's time to add to me your personality. Whatever it is that you like. I love blowing white china. So today my inspiration piece is going to be this cup. And since I have a, a white background, I'll just take some of the blue paint that matches the house that I had left over from painting, having the house painted. And that's what I'll be using for my inspiration today. Now you could use a stencil. 
You could draw anything that you liked on here. Uh, just whatever you like. That's what you would want to put on here. Now since this is going to be outside, I'm not going to worry a whole lot about this being perfect. I'm just going to add some things that I like on here. That are pretty simple. I like the two birds, so I'm going to try to do those. Of course, it won't be in the detail that's on this cup. You can get as detailed or keep it as simple as you want it to be. I'm just looking at this cup to get some inspiration. I don't want to overload it, so I'm just looking for simple details. Just getting an idea. Now this is the time consuming part. And the part where your personality can really come out. Just making some shapes. Trying to get a, an idea of what's on our cup. Our inspiration piece.
This can be as simple or as time consuming as you want it to be. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to be out here a long time detailing this. I'm just going to give you an idea of what you can do to customize it. and make it your own. can use any colors that you like that you that you like or that match your house And after this dries, you can go around and touch up whatever you think needs to be touched up. And put as many coats as you feel comfortable in use and out on your doormat. Let me just show you the look of that. And there you go. You let that dry thoroughly. Let your doormat dry thoroughly after you've painted it. And you can even put a um, acrylic coat on, on it if you want it. Want to do that. But this has breathed new life into this old rug and it's gave it a longer chance to do service kept it out of the landfill made it do for just a little bit longer And when it dries, it'll look like a new mat. As always, thank you for joining me today. Until next time.